Hi, it's Stuart McPhee. I just thought I'd uh, take this opportunity to just uh, check in with you and uh, provide some commentary on what we've seen in the market uh, over the last couple of months. It's now mid-October 2008 and I think what we've seen in equity markets around the world over the last couple of months has just been extraordinary. Amazing scenes with incredible wild swings and a lot of volatility and governments stepping in to secure um, the finances of certain companies and industries, you know, with uh, banks and, and the like. And we've even had regulators stepping in and banning short selling. Really things that I've never seen before in my time in the markets. But probably the thing that stands out for me is the incredible amount of volatility. And we've seen indices, broad market indices, swing so far on a daily basis. And I guess what we're seeing now really reminds me again, and I've said this before in my Triple Your Trading Profits workshop and certainly in my book, the real purpose of our plan and that trading plan and that business plan that we follow, it's really, I believe, it's designed to keep us out of the market. And if a potential trading opportunity presents itself and it meets all our criteria and all our conditions are met, then yes, we go ahead and initiate the trade. But generally, our plan is designed to keep us out. And that's really relevant right now because I can tell you over the last month or so, I haven't taken a trade. The volatility has just been extreme and I was doing a, a looking on my charts uh, before and I was mapping some indices or charting some indices and looking at a volatility in indicator that I, I um, created uh, in my charting software and the volatility we're seeing right now is similar to what we saw back in October 87 but really October 87's figures were affected by that single day where we saw a 20 25% fall. So you take out that single day, the volatility we're seeing now on a consistent basis over a, a period of weeks has just been extraordinary and I don't think we've ever seen uh, anything like it before. But again, coming back to the plan, the plan is designed to keep you out. And my plan has been telling me for a good month or so now, just conditions aren't right, stay out, which uh, has really, I think, worked uh, in my favour. The other thing I thought about uh, a little while ago was, again, something I've made mention in my uh, Trippy or Trading Profits workshop and certainly in my book, is this whole idea of endowment theory. And if you haven't heard about this before, I think it's very relevant right now because a lot of people are holding stock that they've held for a long period of time and they've seen a lot of them drop significantly over the last 12 months or so. And some of those falls may be up to about 50% or so, if not more, hopefully less. But the whole idea of the endowment theory Let's, let's picture a large group of people and you divide them up into two. And you may have a group to your left and a group to your right. And uh, that's your left and your right as you look at it. And uh, the group on your left, you perhaps give every single person in that group, you give them something, whether it be a, a hat, uh, you know, a cap or a, a coffee mug or something. And every person in the other group, you don't give them anything. Everybody gets out a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, they have to write an amount. Now, all the people in the first group the amount they have to write on the piece of paper is how much money they would be prepared to sell their item for. Let's call it a coffee mug. How much they'd be prepared to sell their coffee mug to the people in the other group. The people in the other group have to write on their piece of paper how much they would be prepared to pay for the coffee mug belonging to the other group, to each person in the other group. And what we do is we get all those pieces of paper forward, we average out two groups, so we're left with two figures, and generally, more often than not, you'll get the figure from the group who owns the coffee mug will be almost twice the amount, the average figure from the group who doesn't own the coffee mug. And it supports this whole notion of endowment theory. And the endowment theory suggests that we place greater value on something if we own it ourselves. And all of us have something, whether it be an old car or something we've had for a very long period of time, and we place an incredible amount of value on that much more than anybody else would place on that particular item. And so it is with stocks. Often we can buy shares, buy stocks in companies, and because we own them, we place greater value on them because we have made the decision and we, we form some emotional bonding or attachment to the stock that we own. Now this is very, very relevant when prices fall and the market says those stock are not worth as much as you paid for them, yet subconsciously, because we own them, we feel like they're worth more. And of course, the reality is what we think they're worth is no one cares, and what really is important is what the market says they're worth. So often it can paralyze us into not selling stock that we should because we feel like they're worth more, but the reality is the market's telling us that they're worth a lot less than what we paid for them and what we think they're worth. So 
Certainly be aware of that subconscious uh, thought that we're going to have with placing great value on something that we own. Certainly in the case of owning stock, don't worry about emotional attachment. If the market's telling you they're not worth as much, then act on your plan and get rid of them if you need to. And I think that's become quite relevant, as I said, over the last 12 months where prices have fallen significantly. But anyway, just over the last month or so, equity markets around the world have just gone crazy. Amazing scenes, almost unprecedented, and certainly thing, you know the sort of level of volatility that I've never seen before. Just remember what your plan is designed to do. Your plan is designed to keep you out. And if you feel uncomfortable trading in conditions like this uh, because of the volatility, then it's not the right thing to do. Remember, if in doubt, stay out. Okay, so just always remember about what your trading plan is designed to do. Look, hopefully things clear up in the near future and uh, the crisis that's going on can, you know, won't get worse and all the recession talk can be averted. And we'll, obviously time will tell what happens, but uh, hopefully the market improves, the volatility dies down back to really normal levels and we can get on with trading and uh, enjoying that.